everybody and welcome back to Lindsay's Little Library. So a really fun vlog for you. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do this like every other week or a whole month at one time. I'm not sure when this is all coming out. You might get a long vlog. You might get a couple of vlogs. We got to see how it goes. But um, Amber from Books and Beaches and I came up with a pretty fun idea. Um, we decided for the month of July, we traded Kindles. So I have Amber's Kindle and all the good stuff that's on it for the entire month. And she has mine. So she's going to read off my Kindle. I'm reading off hers. Uh, I know she's got a big camping trip planned. We are planning a bit of a vacation in the middle of the month as well. So very perfect for some Kindle reading um, as you're traveling around. Very easy to put this in your purse or your bag or whatever and take it with you. So we thought July would be a great month to do that. Um, Amber and I live pretty close to each other. We are in the same book club. We've known each other for a long time, so um, we were excited to kind of do this. It's a little bit different. So I started by looking through the insane amount of um, books that she has on her Kindle, which is a lot, a lot, a lot. And I was having a really hard time um, deciding which one to pick up. So I figured, sorry, I got a little... There we go. I figured I would use um, our book list Thursday, Roll Your Next Read for a prompt to help me figure out what to read next. So here we go. Six and four, six and four, oh, Beach is one of them. Or Friend, oh, that's so appropriate. <laughs> So we have, well, that's upside down. So we have beach or friend. So let's uh, scroll through the Kindle and see what we can come up with. All right, I think I found one um, that would actually work for both beach and friend um, because Amber, being a friend, has a few Ellen Hilder Hildebrand books on here, which I, I've either only read one or I've not, I've not read a lot and very interested in more. So I found the Five Star Weekend on here. So I think that's what I'm going to start with. Um, and we'll, we'll see what happens. I don't know how long it would take me um, to do this. Holy, her font is tiny. I have to change that. Um, <laughs> but we're going to give this a whirl. Uh, it is currently July 3rd. We are on the cusp of the 4th of July weekend. Um, so I actually have off basically until Monday. Um, and we have a bit of a rainy day planned in there. We've got a day at the lake planned in there. We've got all kinds of stuff. So I'm hoping that maybe I can just finish this over this weekend, give you a review on what I thought, and go from there. So I'm excited. I'm a little nervous to see what she picks off of my Kindle. Um, to go with, but I think it's kind of fun. Trade Kindles every once in a while. Get a little variety, right? Without paying the extra money. So, anyways, I will be back and let you know the progress that I make. Alright, here's my very fancy schmancy summer pool spot. <laughs> I'm gonna sit and read and maybe eat a tan. That's the plan. We are all out here just living our best life. Almost done with this book, so close. Hello, happy 4th of July. We are walking in the tree. So we're decked out. Um, I don't think so. We've got candy, we've got red, white, and blue. We're all set to go. It's gonna be hot. It's gonna be hot. Um, I don't think It'll be fine. So oh, great. <laughs> all right, we'll see you soon. Here we go. Right there. Good morning. Happy Friday. It's the 5th. Um, I kind of uh, was in the day yesterday and really only took a couple of clips of us in the parade and that was it. So 4th of July was good. Um, nice and low-key. Grilled out, hung out, actually went to my grandma's house and watched the, you know, little dinky fireworks or whatever. But it was nice. It was really nice. 
Um, I did get some reading done in the Five Star Weekend, which I am really, really liking. So it follows our main character, Hollis. She is has just lost her husband and is trying to just figure out what's next. And she has um, a place in the Hamptons. Yeah, pretty sure. I'm going to question myself now. Um, so she decides to kind of copy this idea of this five-star weekend. So she has her best friends from the five different stages of her life all coming to spend the weekend together. So um, she has a very successful like online presence with a like cooking blog, I think. Um, and so she's kind of also putting this online a little bit. Um, variety of the five people who are coming are very, very different. So it'd be interesting to see kind of how they get along and get together. Um, but I'm really enjoying it. I can see why people love these kind of books. Um, Elin Hildebrand books. It's going to bug me. I swear. Oh, Nantucket. They're in Nantucket, not the Hamptons. I mean, same thing, but whatever. So I'm about 20% into it. Um, should be able to get a decent amount of reading done today. There's a lot of stuff I want to get done as well. So I might do some Krista sprints because that tends to work really well for me. Um, but first the girls and I are getting our manicure and pedicure. I, mine are like very, very grown out. <laughs> so, um, and I need a pedicure desperately, desperately. Um, cause well for the rest of the weekend and then we are going, um, to St. Louis and Lake of the Ozarks next week. So, um, we're going to do that. I need to run to the grocery store. I need to do some cooking. Um, cause tomorrow is a day at the lake for fireworks and it's kind of overcast and gloomy out it's supposed to rain all day I don't know what's going on with our weather it's just insane um so it'll be a good day to kind of be inside um but I want to make some of those peanut butter oatmeal protein ball things because Riley can eat those um Chex Mix I want to make I'm trying to figure out if Worcestershire sauce has gluten in it or not this whole like it's just interesting and then I, might make, I don't know I don't know might make some food but we are going to cook out with the neighbors tonight so I at least have to <clears throat> make sure I have stuff for that which I'm pretty sure I do so it shouldn't be a big trip but a trip nonetheless uh so I'm going to read a little bit before our appointment we have to leave in about half an hour drink my coffee um and I'll let you know I'm really liking the book though really liking it I'm also still making my way through this. I know this was probably in my last vlog too, but slowly but surely getting through this one. And then I have quite a variety of other ones. I don't know if I showed these, but last one I might also start. So we'll see. I wanna read, I wanna get all the things done. I wanna do it all pretty much. But all I've done so far is get myself ready, make coffee, I talk to my best friend for a little bit and walk to the dock. So. Great start. <laughs> Anyways, I will uh, be back shortly. Okay, welcome. No. Okay, fine. Okay, okay. 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 Okay, for the lake we've got all kinds of goodies I am bringing my Kindle with me to read more of the book that I'm reading on there I'm also gonna bring the vacation and see if I want to get that read I don't know how much reading we're gonna do honestly it's a pretty fun day got lots of food made she's helping me pack up Think my nails. <sighs> she's got, yeah um, so I will hopefully remember to take some footage while there and 
we're just having a good day at the lake. So here we go. Hello from the lake. Currently in the middle of it. It's gonna rain some more. Enjoy my sunshine. So here we go. Can't forget this, my latest obsession. Peach carpless. Okay. All right, here we go. Look who I found. Hi, that's Amy. <laughs> and now I'm having a brain fart. Amy. Amy's book is Amy's life. I'm like, Amy reads a lot. No, that's not right. Mm -hmm. um, I know, I do, so that's fine. I know, I'm like, it's just Amy. <laughs> um, we are having a refresher. Mine's peach, strawberry, and yours is mango, tango. Mango, tango. And you got boba. I, I did. I don't yeah. do the boba. And then what cupcake? Ooh, it's birthday cake cookie dough. Ooh. I just want frosting, right? That looks really good. Well, that looks good. So I'm excited. We're at Book Club. We're gonna talk about Frozen River. We're waiting for people to show up. Mm -hmm. It might just be Amy and I today. Yeah. No, I know Lindsay's coming for sure. Okay. Um, <laughs> but what did you think about Frozen River? I really loved it. It was so good. It was so good. It, was so it took good. me a little bit. It is definitely one. Like, I know. This is a lot. And then I was like, oh my and gosh. Now and now I'm in yeah. it. Yeah, I so. did not want to stop. I didn't want the story to stop. No, I like want to go back and hang out with Martha. I know. I know. And Ethan. I know, their relationship was probably Ethan. the best. It was great. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. What else are you reading? Uh, I'm reading Under Devil's Bridge. Can I think of who it's by right now? I feel like I've seen that cover uh it's a kindle unlimited that's that probably why have. yes I that's what i was picturing under devil's bridge well yeah. we saw it went away you know. um but i'm listening to it and reading it on kindle unlimited and it is kind of like creepy like it gives me all these like Ooh. Ooh. but it starts with a murder in 1997 and then it's 24 years later, and a podcaster is making a podcast, oh, a true crime podcast, original idea. about the murder, and... I don't mind those. Yeah. They're good. And he doesn't think that... The person the, who's in... The person in jail says that he didn't do it. So it starts this whole thing, and it's a whole, like, is it really moral to bring sure. this up again? Oh. Is it really... Good question. Yeah. So it's from the point of view of the detective that was uh, first, that was in charge okay. in 1997, and the podcaster. And the podcaster? Yeah. Does the audio have that like podcast sounding element not to it or not really? like I thought it was going to. Have you just did Good, Good Girl, Bad Blood, yeah. and that one is just like amazing because it really, it really has, has that, sounds. yeah. And this one you can kind of tell when it's yeah. the podcast language, but not as well sure. as. Which I think really makes the audio book that much. Better. Right. I mean, it's decent. It's decently done, and it's different, um, different actors. Sure, and, and that helps. Place, that helps and that's up. good. But at the same time, it's just not like. Sure. Um, that's all right. Not every book can blow us away, right? I know. Yeah. Yeah. So. I mean, I'm in it, and I want to know what happened, and I'm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But cool. Well, mm -hmm. we're gonna sit and wait for people and talk some more books. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. And I think I saw one person just pull it, so at least it won't be just us. That's cool. Or maybe it could be just us. It could just be us. We're cool. Anyways, <laughs> all right. I will check in tomorrow. And bye. bye. Hey, friends. So the idea that I was going to finish Five Star Weekend before we leave for vacation is just not going to happen. Unless I literally stop getting ready for vacation right now, and that's all I do. So that's okay. I'll finish it in the car tomorrow. We have a seven and a half hour drive I believe so but I thought I would do another roll your next read to help guide me 
to what book to pick after I finish Five Star Weekend. So here we go. Six and two. So we can do six and two, which I've already done that. Or six and two, which is water. So we have water and I'm gonna do another roll just to give me options because we're gone for quite a while. Four and three. Three and four, we have author. That could be a good one. Ooh, backlist author. And this one I could do favorite water. Eh, that doesn't work, but backlist author would totally work. So I'm gonna just kind of mark that that's what that is. So that's a lot of cells. <laughs> anyway, that's gonna help me. And now I don't have to bring this with me. Um, although I could always pull up the Google Doc and do like a, I think there's a dice app that I could probably do, but it's all right. Uh, but yeah, this way I don't have to bring this with me and I have some direction on what I read next off of Amber's Kindle. I'm hoping to get another, at least another one done while we're gone, if not two. So we'll see what happens, but here we are back to cleaning and vacation prep, which is always so much fun. So, all right, here we go. I'll explain where we're going and all the details in a bit. So time to get work. Hi. Say hi, Rosie. Hi. Hey, no, where are you going? You don't like the wet. Don't pick up the flowers. Go get them. Go get them. All right, we are officially in St. Louis. There's the Ferris wheel by Union Station, which we just checked out. Um, but I finished Five Star Weekend on our drive, plenty of time. Um, I really, really enjoyed it, really enjoyed it. I'm not sure if it's a five star book, it's like a really high four and a half. Uh, it got a little bit long in the middle of it where I didn't necessarily want to, like I didn't really want to pick it up for a little bit. I mean, I was, was because I wanted to get it done, but I could have easily like put it down for a little while, but the five women that it follows um, for this like five-star weekend that this our main character Hollis is hosting, and it's her best friend from like when she was a kid, when she was in college, when she first had her kids, and then like her midlife, and then her, so there's five of them. Um, but I thought it was fantastic. I now wanna like host my own five-star weekend. So um, we're gonna end the vlog here and I'll pick it up in the next one. Um, I did obviously roll my next read. I think I'm gonna do author from a backlist book from a favorite author. Um, so I'll look through Amber's Kindle, see what I come up with, um, see if there's like a quicker one. And then we're in St. Louis until for the next four days. So should be able to finish that one. But I'll let you know and I'll give you a little idea of what we do while we're here and we'll go from there. So like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff and I'll see you next time. Bye.